Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker. I go by the name of Q. I appreciate you all for tuning and tapping in. You already know what it is. It is time for your collective read, beloveds. Happy Moon Day Monday. Welcome to any of you beautiful souls that are tuning and tapping in for the first time. I am a Claire Audience reader, an intuitive reader, and I am an empath. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I do incorporate music into my readings and the name of the song, the lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the time stamp. It will all coordinate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. So my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Remember, never submit your will to anyone else. These are readings. This is for your edutainment purposes only. So um, I am also a timeless reader. So whenever this video may pop up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to click play, uh, whether you felt, you know, drawn to the video by the timestamp, uh, by the thumbnail, the title, that was all divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloveds so i do welcome you all i hope that the reading resonates and that you all stay a while and become a member of the soul tribe soul family to all of my beloveds that are returning you already know what it is love 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 i send y'all extra love because i love y'all that much I want to send a happy soul return, happy physical day to anyone that may be celebrating their special day today. I will that you have an amazing day. Remember to love on you. Take some time out to do you, appreciate you, treat you, pamper you. Um, and I just send that love to you. So we are going to delve in without further ado proceed with the read but you already know what we got to do we got to pay some homage to the ancestors and do some house cleaning beloved so let's go ahead and do that and then we shall proceed with the read ashe I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So I was feeling my throat getting blocked up as I was saying my prayer. So I won't be surprised if there is some sort of blockage, if the devil shows up, if a tower moment shows up. There's some argument maybe that could potentially take place or maybe it's already taken place. I know Mercury retrograde is coming up on the 20, um, not the 27th, it's coming up in December. The full moon is November 27th. Uh, so something may be revealed during this time. I feel there could be some heated debates, exchanges, arguments going back and forth. As we are already aware, <clears throat> excuse me, that Mercury retrograde tends to bring, um, you know, challenging conversations or you may find it difficult to have certain type of conversations with individuals. Um, but there also could be blockages communicatively. So um, there could be people from the past returning and some of these past folks could be people that you, you know, un I'm hearing unsavory in my mind's eye. So these are definitely karmic situations, people trying to push buttons. So it's good to be, 
you know, to stay ready so you don't have to get ready to be ahead of the game so that you don't have, you know, so you're not thrown off your guard. So I feel like there's a reason why this is coming up so that you will be prepared if said situation does, um, you know, does uh, present itself um, in December. But just be mindful that you may have some folks trying to, I'm hearing poke the bear. Um, so these are individuals that are literally trying to get a rise out of you, trying to get you to, you know, react, trying to get you to, you know, come off your throne to respond. And, um, you know, true gods and goddesses, true, queen, true queens and kings, true emperors and empresses, they don't have to do none of that dirty work. They got, they have their, their you know, their, their, uh, their, um, <clears throat> their defense in order, their security in order. So it's almost like, you know, if somebody's trying to, to lure you into something, don't fall for the okie doke because then you're falling into their trap. Um, so it's almost like they're trying to lure you into deep waters to drown you, so to speak. So just be mindful of that. That's just what I'm getting intuitively because when my throat gets blocked, I always sense that there's someone either having difficulty expressing their truth or someone who's, you know, definitely um, trying to block this message that I will be presenting to you all. So just be mindful. So what we have on the clock right now, it's 8 42. So this, um, <clears throat> here we go again. <coughs> Excuse me. So this breaks down to, um, 14. So this 832 breaks down. To, uh, it was 842, pardon me, 842. And now it just turned to 843. So that's 15. So I'm going to break down 14 and 15. 14 reduces to five. So that deals with the throat chakra and my throat has been getting blocked. I've been choking. I've been coughing. So there's definitely some issues with communication. There's definitely some issues or some sort of, uh, you know, um, potential. I heard potential. So there could be potential arguments, a potential for some hostile exchange. So just be mindful of that. Um, we also had that 843 show up. So that's 15. So that's six. So I feel like spirit is telling you, trust your intuition, use discernment because that deals with your first eye. So definitely be discerning in a situation. As I said, don't allow anyone to bamboozle you, to dupe you or to trick you into having some sort of exchange or a debate because that's literally someone like where your attention goes, energy flows. So that's an energy vampire. That's someone that's literally trying to um, rob you of your life force. You know what I'm saying? Steal your attention, steal your energy and just, you know, ig ig the ignorance is what I'm hearing. More importantly, what we have playing. Um, okay. I don't know why this thing is taking pictures, but okay. Um, so what we have playing is we have father MC and this is called one night stand. Um, so with Father MC, I definitely am getting a sense that this could be like a masculine. Maybe for some of you feminines, this could be the father of your child. I'm hearing a karmic. Um, with M and C, I'm hearing someone's name could be Mark, Marky, Mike. Um, I'm hearing even if it's not a feminine um, dealing with a masculine, it could be a masculine dealing with a feminine. Who could be the father of a, you know, a young lady's child. Um, I'm hearing Megan. I'm hearing Marie. I'm hearing... Um, I'm hearing, um, uh, Michelle, I'm hearing Michelle, I'm hearing, um, Monty, Monty, Montez, Monique, Moni, I'm hearing Milton, Melvin, Marvin, I'm hearing Mikey, Malik. I'm hearing someone is a menace. Like this is a menace. Like this is someone who likes to stir the pot. This is someone that likes to draw, like bring a lot of drama. You know, like this is definitely like a, a, someone very immature. And with that C, I'm hearing Charlie. I'm hearing um, Curry, Carmichael. First, middle, or last, these last, you know, these names could be, um, I'm hearing Cummins, I'm hearing Corey. 
Someone could be from Coney Island, Connecticut. I'm hearing Calvin. I'm hearing Connie. Christopher, Chris, Christine, Chrissy, Charlize, Charlene. Someone could be Cuban from Cuba. California. I'm hearing Cali girl, Valley girl, like I'm, I'm hearing all of this. Um, but with one night stand, I don't know if you dealt with someone who, um, it could have been like a one night situation with this person and they could be coming back. And this is just someone that's coming back just to, you know, get the goods and then they're going to disappear. Maybe this is someone that made you cry. Whatever the case may be, I'm definitely getting a sense like there could be some masculine and there could be some, some, you know, maybe you've cried tears over a one night stand. Maybe you felt like someone uh, took advantage of you. Maybe you felt like someone um, didn't appreciate or value you. Maybe you felt ashamed for this one night stand. Maybe you felt taken advantage of. I just feel like someone felt taken advantage of. I don't know if someone was under the influence. Um... You thought someone was going to take care of you and they took advantage of you or something to that degree. But we shall delve deeper. Um, so let's see what we have coming and going out going on with the numerology deck. So Father MC. <clears throat> so communication is definitely someone could be just coming back trying to like just play games. Honestly, this could be someone that's a father. You don't have any children. So maybe someone you dealt with may have children and you don't. What we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the number 44 environment. For all of those who are wondering where the picture is, this is my Dark Matter series. This is where I just record. And, you know, if I feel compelled to show you the cards, I will do that. I mean, um, I'm one of those readers that like to show and prove. Um, but, you know, today I just feel like a Dark Matter series reading type of day. So that is the reason why there is no picture. There's nothing wrong with the video. I just have um, decided to cover up the camera. So 44 environment, this is an all green card. So I'm absolutely feeling like there's been a lot of growth, a lot of healing. Um, I'm also feeling like you're mirroring someone's energy, like you're attracting uh, someone that's made in your likeness. So as you heal and grow emotionally, spiritually, um, your vibration tends to shift. Um, and you vibrate higher. So I feel now you're attracting other like minds. You're attracting people on your frequency. Um, like attracts like. So I do feel like you um, radiating this beauty, this strength, this confidence right now is making you very attractive. And not only will you attract other like minds, but you will also attract others that are in a low vibration. Um, and I'm just getting a sense of like, you know, people being drawn to you because you just have this very earthy, loving, nurturing, caring, emotionally intelligent, stable energy. Um, you just come off very healing, very wise, uh, very spiritual, very in tune. Um, and that is a very alluring um, energy. And I feel you're attracting a lot of people to you. I also feel that what you put into the universe, what you put out there, um, you're manifesting it back. I definitely get a sense of you being and walking in your truth or being very strong right now. People see you as very strong, very courageous, very confident. Um, you may also be seen as someone's wish fulfillment. You may also start to um, receive a lot of blessings. A lot of uh, prayers are going to be answered at this time. I definitely feel the wheel um, is turning in your favor, that wheel of fortune, like what's destined for you is now coming in. We have D smoke. Uh, playing Sade. So I do feel like with that D, as I'm hearing like um, divine, like the divine is definitely um, bringing in, because I'm seeing like a genie bottle. You know how the genie bottle, you rub it and then the genie appears in a puff of smoke. So I'm kind of getting a sense of like spirit is absolutely bringing some sort of wish fulfillment that this is coming um, rather quickly. Like it's coming rather quickly uh, because um you know, this eight is giving me like the eight of wands, even like something is in your environment, in your orbit. And this is something that you've absolutely attracted. Uh, this is also, as I said, uh, 
you know, this could be someone that's made in your likeness because whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you attracting someone that's made in your likeness. Um, so with that four, this is dealing with the heart chakra that also deals with that divine masculine. And remember, we just had father MC, uh, one night stand playing. So, you know, there could also be, you know, some sort of alarm, uh, that you could have a karmic because the eight deals with karma. You know, what goes around comes back around again. So maybe there's a karmic that could be returning, um, you know, that could potentially be trying to, you know, do, you know, um, you know, dupe you because the smoke is also giving me a sense of like, you know, confusion, gaslighting, um, you know, even, you know, mind uckery. Uh, and this could be in your environment. You know, as I said, that eight could be a karmic. So you have to be very mindful. As I said, when we started the reading that five, uh, someone's going to be communicating to you. So you have to use your intuition because we saw both five and six. So be sure to use your intuition if someone does come or return from your past, um, because we do have that Mercury retrograde energy coming up and you know, that energy tends to start, um, you start to feel the effects, uh, two weeks prior to the Mercury taking effect and two weeks after. So you could very well be feeling, uh, you know, the effects of Mercury retrograde. I know I've been feeling a lot of fatigue lately. I've been taking cat naps, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the past two weeks, you know, and I'm not a person that takes naps, like not, you know, usually like, you know, it's very rare that I take a nap, but for the past two weeks, I've been like catching cat naps like crazy. So when I found out like Mercury retrograde is coming up, it just, you know, it made sense. So just be mindful of that. So on the split, we have seven, seven and 44. So you got 11, 11. So not only are you attracting someone that could potentially be trying to dupe you, gaslight you, but you're also potentially attracting your divine masculine, divine feminine. This is like a twin flame yin yang type of energy. 11, 11 is this vibration of four, which deals with that heart chakra, which we see here with that number 44, the green. Uh, which also um, deals with the heart chakra. So I'm feeling like this is not only just, um, you know, someone that is ready to love or whose heart chakra is open, same as yours, or who has learned to love themselves, who's done a lot of internal work and healing at a soul level. And now they're ready to give their love to others because they've already learned to love themselves. But you also have a very spiritually um, divine connection with someone. This is someone um, that's also very intuitive, also very, um, you know, connected. They could be communicating with you telepathically or intuitively. This 77 breaks down to 14, which is five. And that's literally what we saw earlier when we opened up the reading, it was 14. And then it turned to, um, that 15, which was the six. So this 14 is saying that there is someone who is slowly making the necessary changes to come forward, to uh, express something that they want to say, or to take action because the seven deals with the chariot. So this is about mustering up your strength and your courage, but also finding that balance and that emotional, spiritual equilibrium within the self before taking action. So someone does feel that this connection that they have with you is rather divine. I feel someone's really like really stressing um, you know, there's definitely a analysis paralysis type of energy because I just saw 71, um, health. And that always gives me, you know, the sense of like the eight of swords, which is like a self-imposed, uh, mind up, you know, that someone is going through. And it could be, like I said, analysis paralysis, overthinking, not seeing things clearly because you're not taking the time, um, you know, to, to take a step back. Uh, to get out of your head, uh, to meditate so that you can get things straight. You're just constantly thinking, 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 and you're not, um, you know, you're not finding that, that grounding, um, energy. So if this is your energy, you know, definitely go outside, get in nature, uh, sit by a body of water, you know, jot down your thoughts, um, you know, listen to, uh, binaural sounds, perhaps play instruments, um, just to change the frequency, listen to music, uh, do things that will take you out of, you know, your, you know, take you out of that state status where you're just constantly in your head, where you're constantly ruminating over something, you know, but, um, let's tap it. So let's see who or what, what's the overall energy for our beloved Scorpios. We have, um, Mary J. Blige and this featuring Notorious B.I.G. This is called Real Love. So I definitely feel like you do have a real love. So we got a card that just flew out and it's the number five. Remember we started the reading with five and I was speaking on the number five. 
being um, that energy of communication. So there's definitely, um, you know, communication that is going to uh, change the dynamic of a relationship or shift something within the relationship because I do feel like someone is realizing um, that they do have love for you. Someone could be expressing their feelings, their emotions of love, either communicatively or just through their actions. Someone's name could be Mary. Someone's name could be Christopher. Remember those names did pop up um, earlier. Um, so I am getting a sense <clears throat> Someone could be from Yonkers or Brooklyn as well. Uh, but there is someone, and my throat is getting blocked yet again. Let me get a sip of water. So someone does want to express something or communicate something. And I do feel once they get out of their head and get out of their way, that there there could be a potential um, for something to change within your um within your love dynamic, you know, cause I feel like someone mature is coming towards you. Um, this is someone that's going to change your whole opinion about love, about relationships, because as this song is singing, it's real love. Like this is someone that has been doing their work. We saw that seven, seven and that four, four environment. So I do feel like there is real love coming towards you, but I feel like there could be a karmic that's trying to block, delay, distract, or, um, confuse you in some way and that's why spirit was telling you to tr use discernment trust your intuition um you know moving forward we have the 11 uh individuality card and this is really saying that you have broken free from something karmic to focus on your independence your independence is the foundation for your security your stability and your happiness and that's something that you've discovered this was a choice that you made and i feel as you made this choice you really started to get back to the root cause of why um, some of your relationships or love ships or friendships or circumstances um, always resulted in some sort of toxicity or drama or heartache, break, heartbreak, heart, you know, emotional loss or sudden loss. And when you started to do the work and do your due diligence, you started to realize that some of these traumas um, were rooted in your childhood. Uh, perhaps some of these traumas uh, were things that you had to navigate and heal Um so that you can have healthier relationships moving forward. So I do feel now that there's um, this sense of you breaking free from codependent relationships, toxic relationships to work on yourself. Um, we have Nas fever. So I do feel like you have um, a lot of people, you know, that could definitely be sweating you now, um, you know, very attracted to you. This five and this 11 breaks down to two. Uh, so this is seven. So this is definitely you finding that harmony, you finding a sense of balance, but also attracting others that are on your frequency and vibration now as well. As I said, not only, you know, will you attract other like minds, but you will also attract, uh, you know, those, those, those low vibrational energies as well, jealousy and envy as well. Um, with this seven that these cards break down to, we're about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. I do feel like this is someone who's also very balanced or someone who's also um, just learning how to navigate, um, you know, certain situations, how to assert themselves more or how to lean more in their confidence. So this could be someone who's definitely very um, feverish, according to Nas, because they find you to be very attractive. You know, Nas is from Queens. Someone's name could be Nas Nazir. Um, but I am seeing like someone is very passionate or fiery about you, uh, very attracted to you. They may see you as the yin to the yang, because if you think of the chariot, there is that black and that white horse on the card, which insinuates, you know, that there's like this yin yang type of energy. We did see spirituality and we also saw that environment. So this is someone trying to rush in towards you because the seven, the chariot does move with a force. Um, once it's found that sense of, um, balance and harmony within itself it does move with a force so this is definitely someone who's feeling very inspired um you know and very encouraged to come towards you uh we do have stevie wonder this is um i am singing so someone is absolutely like you know probably uh because the throat chakra you know is not only just about communicating but this is you know, someone who's very expressive artistically or creatively. So you could be dealing with someone who may have musical gifts, talents. Maybe someone's listening to a song. So it could be clairaudient as well. 
maybe some of you all will be like, you know, singing joy, you know, singing. And um, maybe this is someone who uh, is just going to, um, is, is really going to be, you know, bringing some sort of um, message that's going to have someone like singing joy. How do you say that? Like, I'm trying to say something. I can't get it out the right way, the way I'm hearing it. So there's a card that just flew out. So we have 67 um, physical activity. Someone's definitely uh, going to take action this time around because I feel like this is someone that really didn't do much in the past. Like they really were kind of, you know, standoffish perhaps, or maybe they was just, you know, a little intimidated. Uh, this is definitely given someone who um, has learned from the past because with with I am singing, I feel like this is, I just keep hearing someone's heart is just open. Like someone is singing, jo singing, you know, with joy in their heart. This is like someone happy, you know. Um, this is someone who's definitely um, learned from something from the past. Like they've transformed in some way, you know. They're, they're transformed in a way to, um, you know, come out of their shell, to come out of that, that, that space of, um, you know, feeling discontent and bored or feeling intimidated and to own and step into their power, you know, with this four, you know, the 1367 breaks down to four physical activities. So I feel like someone is definitely coming in to express something, you know, they're trusting their intuition. Um, I see karmic completion. So how someone feels about you is that you've definitely, um, you've also been through major change and transformation and that you have changed and you have some special um, start, like some passionate new start that you're embarking upon. Perhaps someone is coming to, you know, some sort of realization that the lack of taking action or making the effort could have led to the demise. And that's something that they're willing to change moving forward. Uh, with I am singing, I keep hearing I'm singing joy, you know, singing a heart full of joy. Um, so why is, uh, how does this person know? What Scorpios are attracting to them feel about Scorpios. Someone's name could be Stevie. Someone really wonders about you because this is someone that you haven't heard from in a while. And so what flew out is we have 88 abundance. We have 56 relationship change. We have seven personal growth and uh, 78 spiritual career. This is all the energy for how they feel about you. And we have 19 pride on the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely someone who's... Like I said, they see that you have gone from, you know, being someone who uh, could have been appeasing the pleas or not really standing up for what you believe in to really asserting yourself. And now you're someone who's very strong. Like this person has seen you completely transform and change and, you know, evolve into someone completely different. Um, this is someone that definitely has a lot of love. They feel that you're a wish fulfillment. They see that you're very successful in whatever it is you're doing. Um, this is someone matching your fly and your vibration. I feel like they're also learning to lean in their strength and to just take action, to be bold, to be risky. Um, they see you as a wish fulfillment. They see you really independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. Um, this is someone that wants to change your status from single to, you know, to, to, to taken, to married, you know, to in a relationship. Like this is definitely someone coming in very intentional because they do see you as a wish fulfillment. And they also see that you're loving yourself. Like you're being very selfish right now and preoccupied with taking care of you. You're prioritizing you, you're loving you. And this is something that makes you even more attractive because self-love is always very attractive. I feel this person is trying to figure out how to navigate this situation so they could be really sitting and trying to you know try to strategize plan and prepare uh, they could be observing you you know looking at things from a bird's eye view even um, but they see your growth they see that you have absolutely matured you've leveled up it's like you've graduated they see you as someone who's reached a level of self-mastery and it's very attractive as I said um, they also see you as someone very spiritual um, very down to earth, very in tune, your eyes wide open. Um, so they know that you can see through them. That could be another reason why they could be taking their time because they want to get it right this time. They are making the necessary changes to pursue you. Um, I'm here in hot pursuit. Um, we have Nas featuring genuine. This is called you owe me. So I feel like this person owes you an apology. This someone that knows, um, that they could have 
um, you know, messed up in the past because I see this pride. So I do feel someone in the past could have been operating in pride and ego because um, I do see here with the 67 physical activity for, you know, who or what you're attracting to you. This could have been someone who was very, you know, you know, kind of pompous. I'm hearing the word pompous or arrogant or, you know, not really taking initiative, not really showing you um, the attention that you deserve, not really prioritizing you in the way that you deserved because they didn't really see your worth at the time. Maybe they had a lot of options. They could have been juggling, but now it's like they see that you have so much love for yourself and you're just kind of radiating this, this and oozing. I heard oozing this confidence and that just makes them even more drawn to you. This person can't stop watching you. Get a sense of this person like literally um, just kind of spying, watching, observing, um, and admiring more importantly um, you from afar, from a distance. And they're learning so much from watching you as well. Um, they see how you've literally turned pain into power. And this is what um, is very attractive because maybe this person, uh, you know, maybe they knew you at a time where uh, maybe you didn't have this this level of confidence, um, where you didn't assert yourself as you are now. And um, that kind of makes them step their game up. Um, whatever ego and pride and immaturity uh, they were, you know, operating in, it's like they are letting all of that go because this 19 pride is 10. So I do get a sense of someone kind of letting something, you know, finally letting it go. And it's very interesting because we have 19 pride and then underneath that we have surrender as I'm speaking about someone letting something go. So they're letting the ego and the pride go and they're going to surrender to this connection because they absolutely know that you are the one for them. They absolutely know that they love you and they do know that they're going to mess around and lose you if they don't take action, if they don't make the right steps. Um, especially with you owe me, they know that they owe you an apology. Um, I'm not getting that karmic. I'm getting someone that you could have had a dope chemistry or connection with, but then things kind of went left or, you know, the relationship kind of fizzled before it even got started. Um, what I have playing now is Cleo soul, and this is called when I'm in your arms. So this person definitely feels um, very safe when they're in your arms. They feel that you have this very nurturing, um, very tender, very loving, very sincere, very genuine energy. Um, and it's like they just feel like they could just let go. And that's why the surrender is right underneath that. Because no matter how big and bad they try to act, how much they try to act like they don't care or that love isn't there. It's like when they're in your arms, they melt. You know, I'm hearing they melt. I'm, I'm hearing that this person just wants to surrender to this. This is what's um, on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull what's hidden. So what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios. So someone definitely reminisces on a time when you and this person may embrace. Maybe there were hugs that were exchanged between you and this person or kisses, you know. But this person tends to reminisce. What we have is 48 um, discipline, financial discipline. So someone could be working on their finances at this time. This uh, 48 reduces to 12. So someone is really um, trying to figure out how to, you know, get their coins together so that they can have something to offer. Because this person envisions like, you know, building some sort of alliance or partnership or some sort of uh, union. I'm hearing commitment even. Um, when someone is in your arms, they could see forever. They want to build some sort of, you know, um, you know, build this foundation with you so that the two of you can, you know, work on this connection. What I see on the bottom of the deck is 37 time out. So there has been a pause, a moment of pause in this connection, no communication, no contact. Um, but this person still thinks of you. This person still, uh, thinks of you often. They could be trying to manifest you, or this is someone you could be manifesting during your time apart away. You could have been calling in and drawing in love. Uh, because as you work on yourself, um, as I said, your vibration, your frequency tends to, you know, become more potent. It becomes a higher vibration and you tend to pull and attract what it is that you desire because you become more magical, more spiritually, um, adept. So this is beautiful. So, um, what we are about to pull now is the outcome. So there's definitely something new coming in. We got 46 domestic harmony. On the bottom of the deck, the cards that flew out is 27, spiritual partnership. I told you there was a spiritual bond and connection you have with someone. We have the number four, perseverance. So there has been a lot of hurdles 
Um, I definitely feel like you've had to heal from, you know, karmic situations or past life, uh, you know, traumas, familial traumas even. Um, and in healing your heart, in healing yourself, um, this is what's allowing now for all of this new uh, beautiful energy to now come in because you've persevered through a lot of difficulties. So someone is really trying to fight their way back into your life. I definitely feel this is someone who's been through similar experiences as well because uh, I'm seeing that 8-8 eight eight, which shows that you both have been through a lot of karmic situations and have had some karmic lessons to learn and you've built and um, built up your strength and you're now m more so leaning in your strength and being more bold and, and um, you know, more courageous to go after what you want. Uh, we have two patients, so good things always takes time to create. So I do feel like this is about, you know, um, you know, being very mindful in the decisions that you make, um, but also someone discovering, um, you know, that someone is in, in, in equal uh, a like minds. I see like having an equal exchange of give and take with someone because I'm seeing the two of cups with that four. I'm also feeling um, that someone feels like, you you know, perhaps this relationship um, is one that they want to revisit someone that they feel has gotten away or, you know, you're the one. Um, but this is absolutely someone, especially with this 27 spiritual partnership here. Um, is that's realizing the, the depth of this connection. We also have 71 health. Remember, I saw that during the shuffle. So someone's really agonizing and, and, and really in that analysis paralysis, I feel trying to figure out how to strategize. I see 888 here, so I do feel things will work out. Um, but I do also get a sense of someone needing to get out of their head and, you know, come back down to reality. So they need to ground themselves and earth themselves more importantly. So getting out in nature, going to a body of water, um, just changing and switching up the routine where you're not constantly thinking, but maybe writing, maybe releasing, uh, these feelings, maybe purging, taking a spiritual bath, going to a spiritual practitioner or something to that effect. But there's definitely a need to get out of the head, um, and back into the heart, we have four, four. So we got four, four, four here as well. So there's definitely a sense of this being a very sacred connection and bond. Um, I do feel the angels are giving someone angles, helping someone see things from a different perspective, uh, but also, um, protecting this union. This could be a sacred bond and connection, as I said, like, you know, um, almost like a soulmate or a cosmic companion, someone that your angels and your guides are aligning you with. Um, I'm hearing a siren. So just be mindful to not get confused by who um, people are, because I feel like you're going to have a lot of folks perhaps returning to you during the month of December, and you need to be able to discern who's who. You also have the 7-7 seven, seven spirituality also fly out. So the 7-7 seven, seven is definitely confirming that this is, you know, the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. This is someone that's very psychic, very in tune. These two cards did show up during the shuffle. So this is an 11-11. So be mindful. You will know when someone is your divine masculine, divine feminine, because the chemistry and the synergy between you and this person or the commonalities, similarities, familiarities um, will just be very overwhelming. Uh, this will be the type of person that will complete your sentences or you will have just so much um, in common, whether it be your life's person, purpose, your passion. Let me let the siren go by. I hope and will everyone is safe and protected. So with the siren going by, I feel like spirit is forewarning you to not get, um, to not get duped. Um, I do feel you're getting justice in the situation also. You know, I feel like you're getting your just due. I feel like things will work out in your favor. We have Hall and Oates. She's gone. So there is a karmic that's trying to return. That could be the one trying to stress you out. Because with the 71, 8 health, I just get a sense of like, you know, that karmic trying to come back. And they're patient, patiently like plotting and, and scheming because the alarm started going off when I was speaking to that 71. <clears throat> and now my throat is getting blocked. So this is someone trying to like, and I'm hearing that line by Prince. I need you like I need a hole in my head. So this is someone that's like trying to talk a hole in your head. This is someone that's trying to argue you, 
to death or trying to drive you crazy. Like this is someone that's literally trying to mind up you, stonewall you, gaslight you, manipulate you. So just be mindful because this is someone very meticulous, very, you know, cunning. The two deals with the high priestess. So this could be someone who could be also like, you know, um, trying to do some sort of, um, you know, root work or just trying to, just trying to be intentional with, with, um, you know, the confusion. It's like, I'm hearing master manipulator. Um, and on the flip side of that, you do have a sacred bond, but I feel this person is just trying to draw a wedge or trying to block or trying to, um, trying to, um, sabotage a, 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 a sacred connection here, but you are very wise. So, you know, that's what spirit is telling you to trust your intuition. You have seven, seven, seven here as well. So not only do you have eight, 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 you have four, 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 you have seven, seven, seven. So this is definitely, you have wish fulfillments coming in. Someone is absolutely um, aware of the blessings you have coming in. And they are trying with everything in their might. And this is that person, because every time I speak of this person, my throat starts to get all blocked. So this person is really trying to come in intentionally to sabotage or to dupe, dupe you in some way. So just be mindful. And remember, we have domestic harmony, 46. So this is that person that you finally, you know, nail in the coffin. Remember, we also saw that 10 karmic uh, completion. And with she's gone, someone is hurting because you're leaving. Someone is sad because you're you're walking away. You, you've you left the situation behind. She's gone. They've, they've lost you for good is what I'm hearing. So someone knows and, and knows now that they've lost you for good. <clears throat> so let's tap in we're going to get some messages from energy oracle so on the bottom of the deck we have this beautiful card of door to personal healing and happiness i have turmeric on my face just in case y'all are like what is that on her face i got turmeric under my eyes <clears throat> so we have um see i can't make this up i cannot make this up look at the number of the hostilities card 26, eight. Wasn't I just getting on that eight health and I was saying someone's trying to bring some hostility to you. Why? Because the door to personal healing and happiness is here. So someone is trying to rob you of your peace. They're trying to lure you into some sort of argument. I can't make this ish up. I cannot make this up. And this is someone that sees that you're on a high because you've been growing. The seven personal growth that we have here for how someone feels about you. This is what was in your energy, seven personal growth, and this is 34-7. So as you grow and learn and heal and mature, then you have a lot of blessings that start pouring in. And someone is pissed off, ticked off. And this is that same karmic. This is this person that's mad that you're moving on with your life. And not only are you moving on with your life, but you're happy. You're happier now with them out of it than you were with them in it. And they're very pissed off because you're moving on. They feel like, how dare you? So they're being very calculating and very cunning in terms of how they're going to bring some sort of drama to you. This sword is up, which means they are ready to come in and bring the drama. So you have to be on your P's and Q's. You know, you have to be very, very much, um, like I said earlier, you got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But you also have to use intuition and not fall into the trap because this is a trap. You got the door of personal healing and happiness opening up. But if you get sidetracked or distracted by responding to someone, that door could literally close because someone could steal your joy. So let's tap in. So we got the locks um, about shit. So this person is not about anything. This is someone that's not about shit. And this is featuring DMX, Rising Power to Dark Man X. Dark Man X always comes up when I see that DMX. Um, so that's someone that has a very dark spirit. That's someone that's, like I said, an energy vampire. Someone that just comes in to take, take, take. They don't give nothing but headache, you know? So just be mindful. And this is someone trying to chain you because with the locks, I'm getting like someone is trying to like lock you down or anchor you energetically. You know what I'm saying? This is someone trying to block you from, you know, they're trying to lock this door to personal healing and happiness. Like they're trying to lock it so it doesn't open. So it's not a jar for you. So you have to be very mindful. That's what I'm getting from this as well. Thank you, Spirit, for that download. So Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection, what's coming in from my beloved Scorpios? What messages you have from the Energy Oracle Deck Spirit? Thank you. I can't make this ish up. I cannot. 
I cannot. I cannot. I'm going to show you what just all jumped out. And this hostilities is still on the bottom of the deck. All of that shuffling. Did you see in here? All you, you probably didn't see it, but you heard it. All the shuffling I did. This person is pissed the uck off at you for whatever reason. This is what they're trying to do. What did I say? They're trying to dim your light. They're trying to steal your joy. They're trying to attach themselves to you. See how she's locked to this table? And I was getting the download about the locks. And the locks is like I was saying, this person trying to energetically lock you down. And then look at the lock in this attachment. This is a sick attachment. This is someone that doesn't want you on your, you know, and, and this is because you've been changing. See this? You've been maturing and growing where they've been stuck in this loop of hate and visceral and projecting and deflecting. So they're trying to project their insecurities, their anger onto you. And it's because you're changing, you're maturing, and they're not. Look at this. You're on a whole new journey. You got journey too. You made a decision to bolt up out of there. Look at the luggage. You're, you're leaving. You're leaving. You're out of there. And you see she's crossing over this bridge. And it's like once you cross over this bridge, you know you're not going back. And this five and two is seven. So this is someone that you're walking away from that was very deceptive. This is a very decept the deceitful person. You realize in the relationship you was wearing a mask because you really genuinely were never happy with this person. Because this person was like a parasite. They stole your joy. Look how gloomy, gray. You was very unhappy in this situation and you stayed as long as you could. But the more you stay, the more you realize you weren't being true to yourself. And that's why now you're on this new journey. This person is pissed off. They were trying to attach themselves to you. They were trying to attach themselves. This is an energy vampire. This is a parasite. And that's why you had to leave. You also have this. Now wait till I show you your next batch of cards that flew out with those two cards this is why this person's pissed what did i say about that door to personal healing and happiness they're trying to lock you out of there so you got the thinking woman that's why spirit was like use your intuition see that 47 11 this is your just do you learned to trust your intuition you learned that this, this person was not for you they were against you now look what opens up for you now the door to to finance the door to wealth abundance starts opening up and it's because you decide to walk away but you see how she's looking back she's looking back and that gate is still ajar she's looking back because someone's trying to distract her and if she goes back she can miss all of this she can miss this door to value and this carnucopia there's 11 and then 11 11 11 is also in the reading right here so this is your just do spiritual connection abundance prosperity and you're getting this from your hard work because 44 puts me in the mind of also the eight of pentacles so all the hard work that you've done all the seeds that you've sowed in good faith just you staying positive and optimistic and you maintaining you know that that faith walking in that faith is what's assuring these blessings and you could clearly see that you've transformed because you see that butterfly there. So you've transformed your way of thinking. You stopped allowing someone to mind up you, dupe you. Because you learned a couple of tricks dealing, dealing with this person. And now that you're ascending and you're growing. In each card, this person is getting, you know, this feminine energy is being called. She's looking back. Because someone is trying to distract her. And you know who it is? It's this miserable, pompous ass. It's this person looking for a fight. Instead of looking in the mirror and reflecting on themselves and learning and healing and growing, they rather make you, you know, the, the, the bad guy in their story that they're telling. But this is what you have. Don't be looking backwards. You know, when you look back, like I said, when you look back and go back, you're going to miss all of these blessings that spirit has given you. Don't let this person distract you. Stay focused upwards and onwards. Move forward for real because you have. All of this coming in for you. This is due to you persevering through all of the drama, all of the petty LaBelle and Petty Murphy-ish, all of the nasty talk, all of the games, all of the manipulation. That's why you're getting all of this. And that's why they're mad because they're seeing their, their karma. 
you know, is watching you ascend and grow. And not only that, but come into a new spiritual bond, union, and connection. And you have Alicia Keys, you don't know my style. I mean, you don't know my name. So <laughs> I said, you don't know my style. So someone didn't know what type of time you was on. They didn't know about a Scorpio. They didn't know Scorpios transform like Voltron. Like you could transform with the quick fastness. Especially when you see that someone doesn't mean you well. When you see that someone really has it out for you. You could shut it down. You could shut it off. All the emotion, all the love you felt for that person. It could disappear it, with an instance. Once you see someone is actually your enemy. But what you don't know my name. I was saying that you also had someone that was admiring you. You have a secret admirer. Someone that's kind of watching you from a distance. Someone's name could be Alicia. <clears throat> But you do have a secret admirer. So who or what? Why is this uh, 67 physical activity here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? This card just flew up and out. Look at that. Archangel Mikael is here. Thank you. Thank you. This is a sacred bond and connection. You are protected, beloved. So even if you have someone that is, you know, secretly plotting and planning your demise, your downfall. Archangel Mikael is here protecting you. Remember, we saw 444. We got 444 here on the board. And let me show you because I like to show you better than I could tell you. Got 444 here. You also have 888. Let me show you that as well because I like to show and prove. You also have 777. You know what I'm talking about? You got 777. So this is... Just confirming the wish fulfillments, the blessings, the cornucopia, answers to your prayers. And then you also have this 888 here. So this is what you're getting. Someone is definitely, you know, very much um, preoccupied with you because you have transformed. Like, like none, never before. Like, ne they've never seen this ish in their life. You know, but Archangel Mikael is here to keep things calm, smooth, collected, but more importantly, to protect you, protect this union. I feel like Archangel Mikael is definitely helping you or has helped you to, you know, getting rid of those um, past traumas, you know, helping you to heal at a soul level. I definitely also feel like there's swift action, like someone is getting swift karma. Whoever's trying to plot, they're going to get karma. Because Archangel Mikael is here to deliver just that with that 35, that's eight. So I feel like whoever this is, if they throwing stuff, if they're plat plotting and planning, you, if you hear someone suddenly fell ill or got in an accident or some unfortunate circumstance, misfortunate circumstance it took place in someone's life, that's the one that was secretly plotting. But let's continue. So we got caring connections here on the bottom of the deck, 14. So remember what we saw, that good things take time to create, you know, it's always about, you know, someone is really taking the time to get something right. This is like building that trust, helping someone learn that they could trust you. You know, this man is holding her from behind, you know, that that's a, 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 um, a very protective gesture, loving gesture uh, that he has her back. That he has her front. That he's going to protect her. Provide for her. He also provided a bouquet of flowers. Which is a very loving and attentive gesture. Um, so whoever you're attracting to. How they feel about you. Is they really care. They really care about you. They care about this connection. And we have Che Noir. Um, and this is. Um, she's from um, Buffalo. Upstate New York. And she's really dope. Um, she's a, uh, a, what you call it, but it says Che, uh, Noir, uh, high off life. So this is going to be a connection that really makes you, you know, you're going to be on a natural high. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing that song. Take to the sky on a natural high, loving you more till the day I die. Take to the sky on a natural high. Loving you more. <laughs> I'm like hearing that loud in my mind's eye. So this is like a real natural connection, real down to earth. Like this is someone that you just, you know, y'all just do little simple things like take a little nature walk, you know, go to the park or sit by, you know, the ocean or, you know, even if there's like, you know, um, 
you know, grander gestures, but this is someone that's going to show you that they care just by the way that they treat you, you know, the, their treatment of you, the way that they treat you, the way that they um, show you love, their love language will be very attentive, very caring. Um, and I'm feeling like this is someone, as I said, that your angels and your ancestors are conspiring to bring to you. So a card that just flipped, I was literally still shuffling and it just pulled itself. So we got the 37 and this is Archangel Shamuel. This is the third chakra. So they are mustering up the strength and courage, just as I said, to come toward you. Um, I feel like they're trying to learn you or they're trying to figure out how to navigate this connection. I feel like this is someone that's real, you know, really trying to, um, you know, strategize, like they want to come in very intentional. They also see you as very strong. Um, they see that you've done a lot of work on yourself, but this person is, is about to break into action because we got the 17 and there goes that same yin yang type of energy I was talking about with the traditional tarot deck. Uh, so that 17 is, you know, giving me action. I'm hearing action. So this person is ready to take action and I'm hearing action and I'm not even realizing that the word action is here. So this is definitely someone ready to take action because they're coming in. You know, what you don't realize is that they're coming in to make an offer. You know, this is someone that's definitely coming in with the intention to commit, to partner up, to work together as a team. So what's, why is this 48 financial discipline here for what's hidden from my beloved Scorpios? Did anything flip? So that's why someone is working on their finances, you know. So with this financial discipline, it says financial constraints. So someone is trying to get their coins together. So someone is definitely like, you know, maybe someone is um, working on their credit, starting to save, you know, trying to get money together, you know, with that 13, that's four. So there was something that ended. Maybe someone left a job, is leaving a job, or gets fired from a job. I see door to spirit here. So the angels are answering a call or helping with a situation. I feel like there's some sort of blessing or something um, is restored financially. Because I'm seeing with this four and this five, I do feel like there is, um, you know, like there's uh, some sort of uh, positive outcome here. Like someone could have been praying and asking for some sort of miracle. And, you know, there it is. So something, you know, kind of gets, um, get, it gets worked out. If someone was struggling financially, I feel like it gets worked out. So we have 30. This is the garden and the gate here on the bottom of the deck. And uh, this is clarifying the outcome. So I am feeling like someone is, you know, anticipating something, manifesting something. Someone was stuck in like, you know, a routine. Someone could have really been kind of like, you know, just kind of maybe just a little inhibited in some way. And this 30 is still on the bottom of the deck, even with all that shuffling. But the card that flew out is the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So I am getting a sense of someone is kind of like, you know, working through and navigating through their own uh, fears, you know, maybe working through even financial situations. But I see that someone is, you know, finally prioritizing themselves and putting themselves first we have cool in the gang fresh so someone could be getting like a fresh perspective you know maybe now they're realizing um you know what they're deserving of you know realizing that they need to prioritize themselves realizing that they deserve exactly what they want you know but this is also like moving to the beat of your own drum so we're going to pull some cards from tarot <clears throat> and the cards that we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the Ace of Pentacles. Can't make this up. So there is blessings, you know. Remember, we have that Carnucopia, Carnucopia, pardon me, and Door to Value. And that's the change, the outcome that we saw. So there is absolutely a change. There's some good news because we got the Page of Rods, which is the pain's Page of Wands. So I feel like the pain that you've been through because I just slipped, I had a Freudian slip and said pain. So, you know, the pain has really changed you. Like I said, you turn pain into power. And so there's new opportunities, new job offers, bonuses, pay increases, and look at the strength card. So you've learned to take your own, you know, your power back. You've learned to listen to your own subconscious thoughts. You've definitely purified yourself and, and you've tamed whatever beast, you know, you, you've definitely confronted your fears. And I feel like someone could also, you know, be coming toward you 
because maybe they feel more confident now. This is definitely someone very passionate, very attractive or attracted to you. I see a victory here with the Six of Wands. So there's some good news that's going to make you feel like celebrating. And there goes that Hierophant. You know, that also is that five that we saw. That's about maturation. So you've you've literally are having some sort of celebratory moment just from the lessons you've learned, from honing a skill, mastering a craft. Maybe you're going through some sort of um, training program and now you're, you know, going through and growing through some sort of rites of passage. I see the seven of wands. So I do see that you are, you know, protecting yourself, defending yourself by all means necessary. You're not allowing people in. You are very guarded right now. You've established, you know, boundaries. You may have, you know, relocated and created, a, you know, protective bubble. What we have on the bottom of the deck is we have the tower. I told you I was going to see a tower and there goes the tower. So there was absolutely something that was exposed. You can see two people falling from this, uh, you know, this castle. So there was definitely some lies that were exposed. Remember that person that I was feeling was like, you know, um, definitely wearing a mask, being fake. I feel like something may have been revealed to you and that could have changed the dynamic of a relationship. You know, something could have um, exploded in a conversation, which led to you walking away and realizing that you weren't being your authentic self. But this tower is about destroy. Once this tower is destroyed, it's rebuilt. But spirit is the one that is, you know, striking the tower to let you see what you weren't able to see. So, you know, perhaps there were a lot of red flags that were ignored. There was a lot of things that was happening in plain sight that wasn't, you know, that wasn't seen. And so spirit had to literally, you know, shake the foundation. And so these two people fell out of this tower because it was like, uh, it was a house of lies. You know how they say a mirror, uh, a what is that? A mirror of lies or a house of mirrors or whatever. That's what this was, you know, um, it was a lot of, a lot of lies, a lot of deception, but I feel like this is what's led to someone's new beginning. Uh, because you absolutely have learned whether you're feminine or masculine, um, you learn to, you know, be more, um, aware, you know, use logic over your emotion. And this led to you, you know, taking action to move on. So what you're attracting to you now, we have the nine of wands. So you've learned to establish those boundaries. Just as I said, um, this is that wounded warrior, but you still got fight in you. Um, you've been, you know, deceived and betrayed by people that you've trusted. So with each betrayal, you've put a wall up, you've put another, um, you know, you've set another boundary up. And I feel like, uh, spirit wants you, um, you know, to be open and receptive so that you can receive the blessings. Um, do not allow people from the past to, to dim your light, so to speak. Uh, cause this nine of wands, it's like, you know, like we saw with that, um, that hostilities card and then. It was the door to personal healing and happiness. It's like someone is literally trying to lock that door from opening for you. And um, if they could keep you on the defense, then they win. So it's like you still have to, um, you know, be able to discern and use your own intuition to see, you know, what's going on. But don't ever like dim your light and, and, and allow people to stop the sun from shining. Um, what we have playing right now is we have, uh, it's the belly intro. This is soul to soul, um, back to life. So I feel like spirit is telling you it's time to come back to life. It's come, it's time to come up out of that, you know, out of, uh, you know, that hermit mode of being in seclusion or being antisocial and, and getting back out there, living life, living, you know, in your truth and your authenticity, finding joy in every day, being spontaneous, finding adventure. Um, you know, because you are protected, you know, you don't need to be as guarded and as protected because your, your, your angels and your guides got your front, middle and back. And I feel whoever you attract to you will also protect you in a way that you may never have felt before. So who or what you're attracting to you? Why is the 67 physical activity? I feel this person is coming in very intentional, you know, and I feel like this is because your archangels, your ancestors are bringing this person. So what you have is strength. So someone is definitely going to be your rock. I feel this is someone that's also very much, um, you know, very uh, drawn to your attraction, uh, you know, attracted to your strength, attracted and drawn to your ability to even, um, it's like, you see how she's taming this lion and, and I just get a sense of, they feel this sense of calmness in your presence as well. Um, you know, they feel like you 
have that same calmness or that same nurturing and 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 attentiveness towards them um i do feel like they will also be your rock or be your protector your provider as well um but i see that you've gotten stronger um absolutely turn pain into power um and it's because you've learned to take your you know to to um you know to to take onus and accountability uh for things that may have occurred in the past um you see what you know, what was, um, what was, you know, what was kind of like, what was pulling from you energetically, you know, and, and that has allowed you to face your own fears. Uh, so what we have here is the six of swords, how someone feels about you as I feel like they want to, you know, come towards you. They want to take action. This is like movement. This is traveling. You could be at a distance from someone, but they also feel that you have created distance and a space you've created like you know, a safe space as I was picking up, but they want to travel to see you. I get a sense of someone being at a distance and wanting to travel. So why is this 88 abundance, 56 relationship change, seven personal growth, 78 spiritual career and third chakra here. I do feel like they're mustering up the strength to take that trip or to, you know, um, communicate or reach out because the swords do deal with communication as well as travel. So I feel there was a lot of confusion, blockage. There was a lot of uh, competition, you know, because we have that five of wands on the bottom of the deck. But um, what flew out for how this person feels about you is, remember I was saying you had a secret admirer, so they are watching you. And they're ready and prepared to speak to you. This five of swords is, you know, and it's upright as someone is ready to speak to you, but they are sensing that you are guarded. This is how they feel about you, like you're guarded and that's why they're a little apprehensive, you know, kind of taking their time because they want to get it right, trying to muster up the strength and the courage to come towards you because they know how wise, they know how in tune, they know how much work you've been doing because they've been spying, they've been watching, they've been listening to you. You know, if you have social media, if you have any type of um, platform where, you know, people can listen in, trust and believe, you know, the haters are listening as well as those who have, um, you know, some sort of adoration towards you. But we have Lauren, um, Lauren Hill, just like the water. So the water is your element. So water is very healing. Water is very purifying. Water is also, um, it speaks to depth, you know. So I just feel like this person sees and feels that you have depth. What I say about someone being up in their head, but I do see them getting out. This is confusion. So just like the water, they, they, they're they deep in their thoughts, you know, because I got this five of wands, the eight of swords, and then this king of swords. So I do feel like someone finally gets out of their head, gets out of their own way. We're clarifying um, the card 48, financial discipline, 13, financial constraints, and 32, daughter spirit. So I do feel like with just like the water, they do find some way to, you know, kind of heal themselves or to, to, uh, to come out of a circumstance that could have been very daunting. I'm hearing some things washed away. Maybe there was something that was like hindering them, someone that could have been hindering them or hindering someone's finances. But with just like the water, that's a cleansing. So I do feel like there is like uh, some sort of cleansing, a pur purge. You know, I'm hearing a purge. So why is this 48 financial discipline, 13 financial constraints, 32 door to spirit. And then we have this beautiful Ace of Pentacles back on the bottom of the deck. We started with that. So there is a response. Like I said, the angels are giving someone angles. And they're going to make the right decision. They're choosing wisely. So someone makes the right decision. I also feel someone could have been stuck in a fork in the road. And wherever they were stuck, it was it was like lack. It was just like, you know, they were getting drained. They were getting sucked dry financially. And then this magical door opens up. The door to spirit. And there's an opportunity. And I feel like they were led you know, by their angels and guides, someone could be finding feathers or hearing certain birds. But I feel like this is someone who uh, trusted their intuition. Maybe someone got a reading or someone got some sort of um, message. But maybe someone manifested, you know, this, this. But there's an offer. There's a financial blessing 
There's something coming in. Someone makes the right decision even. Someone chooses, you know, what's best for them. Opposed to, you know, kind of trying to appease something. Because it's obviously something is is done. This 13 deals with the death. So that, that's like, you know, something ends. But then something's also resurrected because someone learns. Someone may be, you know, tapping into their divinity as a divine feminine or masculine. And they start creating. And as you create, you manifest. And as you manifest, then, you know, you receive rewards and blessings. What you call in, you start to attract. Why is this um, two of wands here? So someone does get out of their own head. Oh, man, look at this. This is some heavy energy. I just wanted to see. You know why this two of wands is here. Someone is like literally stressing and agonizing. Someone needs to like take a spiritual bath. But they really, you know, this is the ten of swords. This is betrayal. So I feel someone gets karma. Like someone got karma. I definitely feel like someone got some sort of karma. But then some good news comes in. And there goes the death right there after I spoke on it. Someone's name could be Lauren. Someone could be from New Jersey. Someone could be feeling like they're fighting an upward battle. Like financially, someone just feels like just drained. But I feel like it's it's a decision that one has to make. Someone could be also just obsessing over money. Stressing over money. Let me get one more card to clarify these messages. All right, so I see there's a new beginning here. The fool. So there is a new start. I feel like spirit is giving someone, you know, like pushing that big reset button. So why is 27 spiritual um, partnership, four perseverance, two patients, 71 health, 44 um, environment, 77 spirituality, and 36 second chakra archangel Ariel. And we have the six of swords along with the ace of swords. So what did I say about someone taking action, moving? This is this could be someone traveling to see you. I also see you moving away from toxicity, cutting out all of the nonsense out of your life, purging people, places, things. I also feel someone coming in wanting to have, you know, that clear conversation or kind of trying to cutting through, you know, the nonsense, clearing the air, so to speak. I feel this is, you know, someone also expressing their truth in terms of love. Because we have both of these reads, which, you know, indicate, you know, some sort of victory. And then there's a red rose and a white rose. I feel someone could be communicating and finally expressing their feelings of love. Someone is finally uh, taking action to come towards you. And why? Because they see you as an empress, emperor. I was getting a sense of someone seeing how regal, royal, just how, you know, powerful and passionate you are. Um, someone who's reached this level of self-mastery. That's why that, that energy of intimidation lingers in these readings because of the work you've been doing. We already know they see that you've been growing personally because it came out in your energy. So they are watching. We got the page of swords. So that's why they know that, you know, you may be very protective of your energy. That's why that seven of wands came out for how they feel about you as well. So it's like they're really re ready and prepared to come towards you, but perhaps they're insecure about what they have to offer you because we have this 48 financial discipline, 13 financial constraints, 32 um, door to spirit, the two of wands, the ten of swords, the devil. Someone obsessively thinks about things instead of expressing themselves. Um, but I do see that someone does take some sort of leap of faith. Um, this is someone coming in very loyal. We have you are uniquely made beautiful soul. So this is how someone sees you. We're going to pull some cards from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So someone does see you as unique, you know, you're rare. Someone definitely has, you know, come to this epiphany. They could have been fighting these feelings and now they have to almost like, it's like swallow that pride that they've been, you know, depending on so much. So a card flew out and it says, hone your skills, gifts, talents, practice makes perfect on the bottom of the deck. The card that actually flew out is it says they love you to the moon and back. I can't make this up. Someone's coming in to offer you love. This is someone that's definitely very much attracted to you. This is that wish fulfillment. I feel like you know your worth and value now. I feel someone mature 
is coming in with the moon reference on the card. It could be someone that could have cancer in their chart. You know, someone very intuitive, someone who communicates with you telepathically, someone that dreams of you a lot. I feel what you're attracting to you with this um, hone your skills is that's what's really, you know, led to someone finally discovering um, their own worth, you know, is discovering their talent, discovering their gifts, unpacking those gifts. Um, and as you, as I said, work on yourself, you know, you turn your pain into power by really tapping into that alchemical force. Um, what we have playing is, um, who is this? It says, ooh, ah, by three piece. So three is the number of the empress. And I feel like that's how you reach the level of self mastery by just realizing you have that ability to birth new styles, new ways of thinking. So two cards flew out. Um, the card on the bottom of the deck is if you have to force the connection, there isn't one. It's a two way street. So what did I say? This person that you're attracting to you or who or what? It says physical activity. So this could have led to the demise of a relationship is someone not taking action. Remember, we saw pride. So someone's pride, someone's ego could have been super inflated. Um, and I just feel like, you know, that also is the, you know, what hindered this connection. Someone didn't really take the serious, uh, you know, the connection serious, or maybe someone just simply didn't see your worth and value at the time. What we have is mental health matters. Stop overthinking. This person is overthinking. I told you I was hearing analysis paralysis. So who what you're attracting to you, even if this is your energy, any of this could be your energy or the person you're attracting to you. I always feel like because this is your reading, Scorpios, I'm always put it in your perspective. But whoever this is, because we're pulling the card for who or what you're attracting to you, I was feeling someone was up in their head a lot. And sure enough, mental health matters. So we also have patience is also a form of action. Stay diligent. So this is that person that's being very patient. Um, this is that person that is taking their time because they want to get it right. Remember, we also had patients show up in the outcome. So someone's being very meticulous. That's what I heard. Uh, this is that person that's like being very strategic um, for the right reasons. Um, you know, but this is also someone knows that you feel like, you know, um, you shouldn't have to chase anyone, you know, especially being, you know, like if someone's interested, then they make the time for you. If, if you're important to someone, then they make the time for you. So, you know, you, that's probably, you know, what they've come to realize is that, you know, that could be the reason why you walked away, you know, because they didn't show enough attention. Um, and also there could have been potential third party scenarios, whether it was another person, whether it was their job, whether it was friends involved, whether it was other people with this five, you know, with that, um, five of wands we saw during the pre-shuffle, it, it felt like there was other competition or there was some confusion surrounding this, this, uh, connection here. So how they feel about you, let's pull that card. So why is 88 abundance, 56 relationship change, seven personal growth, 78 spiritual career. So I got my cards. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Got a lot of cards actually to clarify this message. Okay. So it says chemistry. It says of love. I plus you equals we equals us. So this person definitely sees you as the yin to their yang. They see you as someone very rare. It says rare breed. Black sheep, misunderstood, Mr. Understood. So you're definitely someone chosen because most people who are misunderstood or people who don't um, necessarily have like, you know, a bunch of people all around them, you know, a bunch of fake folks around them are usually um, individuals that have like a divine purpose or have some sort of soul mission. So you are someone very rare, very regal. We saw that they saw you as someone um, who was a unique person individual as well. So this means that this person has, you know, been observing you for quite some time and they have grown to admire things, little quirks about you that maybe in the past threw them off. What we have playing is Lisa, Lisa and the cult jam. And this is, I wonder if I take you home. So perhaps this is someone that you could have been with intimately one time. Because remember when we first started the reading, we had father MC one night stand um, now we have wonder if I take you home. So this could have been someone that you could have been intimate with. And maybe after that intimate um, moment, it's like you felt like things shift with this person. Maybe you felt this person kind of distanced themselves, or ghosted you, or ghosted the connect. You know, some way something changed and shifted. And I feel this person has realized 
um, in your absence, especially with how they felt about you is like, if you have to force the connection, there isn't one. They realize that they didn't put enough time and energy into this connection. And that's why they feel like you're the one that got away. That's why they feel like something has met its demise with this physical activity. They didn't do enough to keep you. They didn't do enough to continue um, this connection. What we have here is build an emotional connection over a physical one. So just as I was elaborating on the one night stand and um, if I take you home, we have built a physical. So you may have been intimate with this person prematurely and um, now they know that you're more focused on um, having a more, uh, you know, a mentally stimulating connection more than a physical, physically stimulating. And of course, that's important, but it's like you want to, you want to be, um, you, 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 it's almost like you're sapiosexual, if you will. You know, it's like you, you want to be mentally um, stimulated just as much as physically stimulated. And perhaps this is their feelings as well, but they know that you are more than just, um, you know, someone that they want to be intimate with. They can see more with you. What we also have is don't eat everyone's food and don't let everyone in your home. So there is, uh, you know, like I said, I was picking up karmic energy. So you could have that karmic energy, uh, lingering, trying to plot, plan, scheme and scam. We also have synergy. I am drawn to you. So someone is definitely magnetically drawn to you. Um, you also have thunder clapping, prepare, take shelter. So this is just forewarning you of a potential argument. It's forewarning you of someone who is uh, coming in with the intention to bring some sort of hostility or confusion your way. We also have their tuning into your channel, social media, driving by your home, looking at pics. It says secret admirer, stalker alert, obsessed. So someone's definitely, remember what I said, you could attract, um, you know, positive energy as well as bad energy. So you could attract someone that definitely um, has good intention, someone that's like a twin flame soulmate, but you could also have this karmic that's coming back. That's just trying to, you know, to, um, distract you or to, um, dim your light. We also have past life vibes. Um, is this the one? Uh, so yeah, you're, you're going to be kind of like questioning. I was feeling you were going to have a decision to make. There's going to be some choices and I feel like whoever this is, is going to feel very fami familiar, familiar, you know, there's going to be a lot of chemistry, a lot of synergy. You also have promotion, pay increase. So some of you are absolutely uh, coming into new opportunities. We saw that Ace of Pentacles when we first touched the tarot deck and we saw it again. So that's absolutely telling me that you have blessings and opportunities that are coming in for you. Um, that you could have prayed for, that you could have manifested. These are coming in, um, you know, as is like a reward for everything that you've been through. You also have support system, the village, uh, people you can trust and depend on in a crisis. So someone does see you as someone that is very grounded, very supportive, very loving, very nurturing, caring. Um, this is how they see you. They see you as someone that would be there through the good times and the bad. You're not just, you know, some gold digging person or money hungry, you know, money motivated. It's like they know that you would be a great support system because they see now that you love hard, that you're very sincere, very genuine. We also have done, done, Finn. So someone sees that you've wrapped up cycles, completed cycles that you've learned. What we have on the bottom of the deck is the four walls are closing in on you. Get up, the, get out of the house now, take a walk. So I was definitely picking up on the energy of, you know, the walls closing in. That's why people are stuck in their head, just ruminating and, you know, analysis, paralysis, stressing over money. Perhaps there could be a download. Perhaps there could be something that, you know, kind of, you know, divinely, uh, you know, um, you know, divinely is, uh, um, transmitted to you. Uh, if you step out of that, that, you know, that routine out of that rut, um, you know, when you're stuck in the house, just looking at the same four walls, it can bring you into a space of depression. Um, you can start to feel very discontent, very bored, um, very frustrated. Um, so it's like spirit is telling you it's time to get out of the house. If you have been you know, in that hermit mode. So why is this 48 financial discipline, financial constraint, 32 door to spirit, the two of wands, 10 of swords, the devil, the eight of swords and the fool here for what's hidden in the energy. So I got my cards. It says mama Oshun, beauty, love, attraction, you sexy thing. And then we also have financial freedom and success. Look at that. So you are very attractive and you are very 
much attracting what you desire. As I said, when you change your energy and you start to grow and evolve, this just draws people, this draws blessings, this draws what you desire to you. So as you take a leap of faith and get out of that space, the spirit will start, you know, answering those prayers and those petition, those petitions. We also have, you are uniquely made. It's right back on the bottom of the deck, right where we started. So this is definitely someone realizing, um, that you are made in the most high's image. Like you are truly, um, you know, they see God in you, you know, your, your soul is beautiful. Your soul is magnetic. It's drawing them in. Why is this 27 spiritual, um, union or, uh, what is that? Oh, spiritual partnership four perseverance, two patience, 71 health, 44 environment, 77 spirituality, 36 arc, um, our, uh, what is that? Archangel Ariel, second chakra, six of swords and the ace of swords here for the outcome. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Katara. Katara Kane, y'all. Hi. Hi, pretty face. That pretty girl. That big baby. Hi, that pretty baby, 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 baby. And so we have, you will be the first millionaire in your family. It is written. So many of you already know that. And the cards that flew out, we have avoid the gossip circles. Whoever gossips to you, gossips about you, know that. And it says, be thankful you fell down but got back up. So just as I said, you're going to have some haters trying to come back, lure you in to these traps, you know, to have you stuck, have you stagnant, um, so that you could potentially miss your blessings. Um, but, you know, you absolutely are too, sw too wise, too suave, you know, to fall for the okie doke. You got the empress on the bottom of, you know, the tarot deck. You have, you will be the first millionaire on the bottom of my deck. You have domestic harmony and the garden and the gate. So there's decisions that you're going to have to make beloveds. And I feel like you are going to make just that the right decision. You have many cards. You have carnucopia, door to value. You have financial, um, freedom, promotion, pay increase. Um, mama Oshun, you will be the first millionaire in your family and the success card is right underneath that. These are all my um, my financial prosperity cards in my deck. And they all showed up in this reading for you. So you have a lot of blessings coming up, y'all. And um, this, is, this is because you've earned this. This is absolutely why you have haters coming back. Archangel Mikael showed up in the reading along with the 444, which definitely confirms you have a lot of angels and ancestors protecting you. Um, you have wish fulfillments coming in with the 777 reference, the 888. You definitely have a lot of blessings coming in. And Spirit is saying, be thankful. Everything that you've been through, everything that you've persevered from, you know, be thankful for those things because that's what's made you who you are. That's why you're as strong as you are. That's why people admire you. That's why you are going places, beloved. Um, but definitely avoid these gossip circles. Don't let anybody come to you bringing I heard conversations or girl, did you hear? Or, yo, yo, did you hear? Don't sit there and celebrate other people's, you know, um, misfortune, um, you know, sitting around and, and, and wasting energy and time listening to that nonsense like stay on a high vibration don't even let anybody come back bringing hostility and drama to you um ig the ignorance like i said earlier but this is a beautiful reading scorpios i hope the messages resonated if you're interested in booking a spiritual consultation if you want a personal in-depth reading by me check the description box click the link below it'll take you to my etsy and you can book your consultation there um for all of those who have already booked I ask humbly that you please go to my Etsy and leave a review of your readings. Let others know what your experience was. It will help tremendously. Um, but I thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat out, Peace, love, and light.